An update from NASA on its $4 billion moon mission and how it plans to bring the Orion capsule home over the next two weeks. Right now, Orion is about as far away as it will get during that month-long mission, almost 46,000 miles past the moon. News six is Eric Von Anken live out at Kennedy Space Center. He's listening in to everything going on out there. Eric, so how's it going so far? In a word, Matt, perfectly, actually. NASA says this mission is continuing to go so well that they're now adding additional objectives, additional testing, seven more of those to do further testing on things like solar panels and the propulsion system. Just over an hour ago, Orion set another record, clocking its maximum distance from Earth, 270,000 miles. At the mission's halfway point, Orion continues to do exactly what NASA's administrator and mission managers expected it to do, they told us, and in some cases, do it better than expected. The mission is just going completely flawless. Uh, of course, we're learning. There's things that we um, have to, um, you know, figure out about the systems themselves. But, you know, Orion is just performing so very well. No human-rated spacecraft has ever gone this far from Earth, so far from the Earth and the moon. They look like dots in the distance floating in the blackness of space. We are starting our initial preparations for uh, deployment of the recovery forces um, out at Naval Base San Diego. Mission managers explained the next step to bring Orion home. After finishing the far orbit around the moon, the spacecraft will do that same tricky technique it did on the way out, dipping down towards the surface only 80 miles away, grabbing the gravitational pull and slingshotting away from the moon and back towards Earth. And something else that came up during that press conference over the past hour is new information on Artemis 2, which is, of course, the reason that we're doing Artemis 1, to check out the spacecraft and make sure it's safe to put humans on board and send them that deep into space. They said they're starting to talk about dates for that second mission. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Eck and getting results to do six.